Okay, so I want you to keep in mind here on verse 4 where we talked about these are the two olive trees and the two candlesticks standing before the God of the earth. Now that is verse 4 of chapter 11. Now the important thing to remember as I've stated before that you're seeing each witness is given two objects. One witness represents two olive trees. One witness represents two candlesticks or lampstands because that is interchangeable. You will also find that it is translated as lampstand, which is going to be important here later on. So retain that. We're not going to talk about that right at this moment because it's going to fit in with some later information. But understand that that is where the beginning of this mystery will also hinge. So the next thing that we need to look at here is going to be line number five. And if any man will hurt them, fire proceedeth out of their mouth and devoureth their enemies. And if any man will hurt them, he must in this manner be killed. Now, what I'm going to show you is that that is not actual fire coming out of the mouth of two individual human beings. Okay? And the, the way that I'm going to help to explain this is I'm going to use this verse here. Revelation chapter 1 verse 16. Now this is talking about Jesus Christ. Now let's look at this. And he had in his right hand seven stars, and out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword. And his conscience was as the sun shineth in his strength. Now the question is, do you think an actual sword will come out of his mouth, meaning Jesus Christ. And no, of course not. We already know that the, the sharp two-edged sword is a symbol for his word. Okay, that is what his word is being symbolized as when he returns and he's going to smite these wicked nations. Okay, so we also know that there's another symbol that's used for Christ word and it's used in conjunction with the believers now no longer is this word a sword now it's the very same word but it is no longer a sword to the believers it is now the living waters so as we can see the bible uses symbols almost exclusively when it's trying to reveal spiritual concepts to the mind of material man now that's the purpose that's the real purpose, is to give you some sort of physical vision of these higher spiritual concepts. And as your spiritual concepts grow, so too will your definition of these visions, these material allegories, if you will, of the spiritual information. So of course not. There is not going to be fire that is coming out of the mouths of these two witnesses. Now that is just, uh, that's ludicrous to think. But if we get deeper in our understanding, we could compare something else. We could say, well, remember when the locusts come out of the inner earth, the locusts come out of the inner earth and they have fire that's coming out of their mouth. And I symbolize that fire that was coming out of their mouth was as their doctrine. Okay, and they have, just like Christ has the ability to give life with his word, they have the ability to take life with theirs. And it's usually symbolized as fire, which would be the opposite of Christ's word, which is symbolized as water. Okay, so we can understand here that now the two witnesses begin to shift, at least in the scriptural context as we move through it, into a different light. And they don't appear to be as good as we would think them to be. But I'm going to explain that. Now there are two understandings of this prophecy which is really going to open your eyes. So just know now that we have shown that these two witnesses are not going to have actual fire coming out of their mouths. Now what I want to show is who these two witnesses are. But we got to look a little further in our understanding before we get to that. Please come back.